Hey, it's Robin from Roaming with Rover. This video is very exciting for us. This is the this is the video presenting our brand new yarn store for art, the yarn experience. But I had some problems with this video and I did not realize it until it was all done filming. So please give me some grace. The the video itself has a few problems. The sound is not the best, but I real I didn't know it until it was done and I could not recreate the unboxing. And so uh, we've got Kitty over here helping. So please uh, just enjoy the yarn, enjoy the video, enjoy the presentation of the, whoops, <laughs> get out of the way, Kitty. Enjoy the presentation and the announcement of the new yarn store. Thank you so very much. Well, you guys, what is all this? What is all this? This is our first ever yarn haul from Cascade Yarn. This is our first order of yarn for our brand new yarn shop. I know I've been giving you guys hints. I've been talking about it here and there, and this is it. This is the beginning of our yarn shop. And let me show you where it's going to be before we start off opening boxes. You guys know that I've been working in this store for quite a while now and we do craft classes in here. And recently we decided to put a very small area and just have it for yarn in basically a very small local yarn shop type store in here. Let me show you what it looks like right now. And I'm going, just gonna do a quick walkthrough. I know you guys have seen bits and pieces of it because I do a lot of uh, filming in here, but I'm gonna do you a, a real quick walk around and show you what it looks like now and show you what I anticipate that we're gonna have in here. Okay, so basically we've got a little sink area. We have a kitchen area in the back. This is where our craft supplies are for painting and such like that, okay. This is the table where I do my filming at. This is you, the background you guys typically see. We have a retail area up front and we're in the process of switching it around. And a lot of our folks that do our craft classes sell the different types of crafts that they make. There's our macrame lady. But we also have different products for sale, some spa type stuff, different things like that. We are in the process of changing things up right now. So a lot of it is empty because we are literally changing it up at right this minute. We have some home decor type things, some bedroom and bathroom type things. So these are the types of products that we have for sale right now. This is going to be my area, not all of it, but part of it. This is, these are some of the tables where we do a lot of our, our teaching at. We also, as you guys know, this is a, we do events in here. This is an event space also because we've got the kitchen area. Let me flip this. We have the kitchen area and we are licensed for, we can do events in here. So we do baby showers, we do birthday parties, we do meetings, um, all kinds of things. So we also have um, a food permit type thing so we can have those kinds of meetings in here. And we were having a discussion about the fact that the part of town we're in does not have a local yarn shop. And I know that we can't have a full on yarn shop in here, but think about the kinds of things you see in a local yarn shop and on a smaller scale. And that's what we're gonna be doing in here. Let me get this set up real quick. 
and then we're going to start looking at yarn. So the types of things that I anticipate, and again, I'm gonna flip this over so you can see the area that I'm talking about. So basically right over here, right over here where this stuff is stacked, I'm anticipating about this much space right there, right here, up against this wall. Won't that look pretty, the yarn stacked up against that bare brick wall? I'm anticipating about this much space, so 10-ish feet wide is what I'm going to have to work with. And, whoops, I'm going to trip and fall and kill myself. Um, we have, I have made arrangements with Cascade Yarns. They are the first company that we are wholesaling with, wholesaling through. So Cascade Yarns. And that's my first order, my first order from Cascade. And this is a little high, let me fix that, sorry. So my first order from Cascade Yarn has gotten here. We're gonna open that in just a minute. And so we're gonna have Cascade Yarn. I'm hoping to get Ice Yarn on board. Um, there is a way to do it, it's just, I gotta have my website up and running. I've got, I'm working on that. We are working on social media. I gotta figure that all out. I've got somebody on board who's going to teach me, so we'll have the whole Instagram thing. I have to get all the different ways to pay for stuff, get that all figured out, and um, get some marketing things in place. We're going to have special sales. We're going to have special events. We're going to have sort of a, I don't want to say a club because that's not the right term, but Think of a, a frequent flyer, and, and again, that's not the right term either. Um, repeat customer is more the right term. Um, but, and then on our website, I wanna have an area for the yarn stuff, an area for the retail stuff, an area for um, things like um, project bags things like notions, things like we're going to be able to have, oh, you know those cute cups with the, with the sayings, um, with, the, um, with the cute yarny sayings, those kinds of things, yarn bowls, all kinds of different things like that as well. So it's going to be as if, just as if it was a mini local yarn store with some other retail stuff as well. So we're very excited about it and we're very happy that this is happening. There's a lot involved in it, way more than I anticipated, of course. One of the biggest things that I still have to get figured out is the display. I know, I know in my brain what I want it to look like, but I've just not been able to figure it out exactly. So without further ado, this is the official, this is the official announcement, I guess. So without further ado, let's look at some yarn, okay? Let's look at some yarn. I'm going to, how am I gonna do this? I think, I, these boxes, I'll tell you what. When I got my, my, when I got my notice that these had been delivered, it said there was 175 pounds of yarn. I don't know, I don't think those boxes weigh quite that much, but these big ones, I could not even lift. I could not even lift. So let's get, let's get this set up here. And at least for the, while I, while I open the smaller boxes, I'm gonna set this up right here. And in fact, I'm gonna pause you until I get it set up and then we'll open the smaller boxes. Okay, 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 we are back. We are back. All right, I have opened, I have opened the boxes. So let's get them unpacked. I can, oh, I can move this right here. Okay, oh, so first, oh my gosh, this is so much fun. First we have Anthem. DK. This is the DK. Anthem is a oh, so noisy. This is such a noisy road. Anthem DK is their 
beautiful, oh, this is so beautiful. It is a, uh, it's 100% acrylic, and I got a lot of this. I got a lot of this DK weight because it's so useful for, for so many different things. And I got a million different colors. I was gonna look real quick and see if there was a spot on here where I could see what the color is on the label real quick. So I don't have to fight to find the color for each one. And no, it's a color number. So I'm not gonna be able to do that real easily. Dang it. I wanted to be able to do that real easily. And this one, I found I've got two different, nope. So I have two different packing slips, but look at this beautiful blue. Look at that beautiful blue. So I've got two different packing slips. So this particular packing slip does not show this color. But that's a beautiful blue. And this is sort of a rust color. Isn't it beautiful? Gorgeous. Now, you can go to the Cascade Yarn website and look at all the different colors. Look at all the different colors. And if there's anything on there that you see that I don't have, we can order it in for you. Anything that I don't have. Because here's the reality. There's no possible way that I could order in everything to start with. We could, I mean, it's just impossible. They've got so many choices and so many options. It's absolutely impossible for me to have ordered in everything in every color as much as I wanted to, trust me, but it's just impossible. So I just got, I got a sampling to begin with. But if there's anything on the website that you want, you just let me know and we can get it for you. Okay, so this is Heritage. This is Heritage. This is their fingering weight. This is um, a salt. This is, oh gosh, I'm going from memory now. But this is their uh, 7525. So this is the uh, wool, the, uh, my, my mind. My mind is just absolutely gone blank. I'm so excited. So this is their fingering weight sock yarn, 7525. Um, washable wool and nylon, 25% nylon. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous product. And this is, of course, a white color. The Nifty Cotton, I love this. You can use this for kitchen cotton type items. You can also use this. This is so incredibly soft. You can use this for making baby blankets, baby clothes, things like this. This is 100% cotton. This is so soft. I would say that this is uh, similar to like a 24-7 type cotton. Super, super, um, super soft. Not at all harsh to use on your hands, anything like that. And with this being this 100% cotton on this, I'm trying to get on here so I can see how many yards. The yardage on this is 185 yards. And this, of course, is a full weight. And we've got that in sort of a buff color. And I removed these, of course. And a beautiful yellow. This is nice for your, for your kitchen. Let me move these down here. We're gonna run out of room real fast. I will move those to another table. I also have that in, oh, look at this. This nice green, a light green. And this beautiful red. Isn't that pretty? So those are your basic kitchen cottons, but they also make those in, oh wait, here's another one. Here's a pink, a pretty pink. They also make those in what they call nifty cotton or cotton effects, nifty cotton effects, which is the exact same cotton, the exact same product, but they just have a blend of colors. So if you wanted to make something like this and mix them together and just get a different design, a different style, then they've got colors for that as well. So we have that in this beautiful color. We've got that in a gorgeous deep green, almost a forest green I would call that. We have that in, I'm calling this a silver. 
and oh, and this gorgeous blue. Ooh, that is pretty. That is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at all those cottons. And oh yeah. So again, the heritage. That beautiful sock yarn. This gorgeous sock yarn, and it is. It is wonderful. So 75% superwash merino wool, 25% nylon. This is the fingering weight. And let me see if I can find a tag on here telling me how many yards it is. Oh man. It is 400 meters, 437 yards. 437 yards. And we have it in a large variety of colors. So we've got your basic white. We've got this beautiful green. Isn't this nice? This is a nice neutral. Ooh, pretty silvery gray. Uh-oh, look at the purple. That's a, a nice lavender purple. A nice mid-range mid purple. Oh, lovely blue, lovely. A gold. Now, you know, it's not just for people making socks. A lot of people use these to make shawls and scarves and sweaters, anything where you want a lighter weight project. And this gorgeous, gorgeous silvery, almost a dove gray. See, this is a, this is a darker gray and then you've got the lighter gray. These are so, so pretty. Absolutely beautiful. These are the Heritage Solid Colors. Very, very pretty. That's my two small boxes. That's the two small boxes. Let's take a quick look across the table here and see what we've got so far. Whoops, got stuff falling on the ground is what we've got so far. But look at this. Aren't those beautiful? Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, I'm going to stop it for a moment and get those big boxes opened up. Okay, here we are again. We are with the next box. And hang on one sec. All right, I think that's a little better. I think that's a little better. All right, I'm gonna try and talk louder because I think it was a little rough to hear on the first part. And I've got the packing slip. So I will try to get the name of the colors this time. No guarantees. No guarantees. So, let's see what we have now. Oh, we've got more of the Nifty Cotton. Ooh, that's a pretty color. More of the Nifty Cotton. And that is, I bet you this is Lagoon. I'll bet. Color 13. No, it is not Lagoon. It's not even on the list. So, see, that is not going to be a fast project process. But I would have got, I would have guessed that was a lagoon. Because it says color 13. Doesn't that look like lagoon to you? So, more nifty cotton. Let me set this over here. Oh, wow, this is beautiful. Beautiful. This is called Pacific Prince. Oh. Look at those colors. This is one of their cakes. It is 60% uh, acrylic, 40% superwash merino wool, caked up 213 yards. And this is in the color 606. And I wanted to say Pacific Prince, Pacific Prince eggplant with that beautiful purple. Isn't that gorgeous? Eggplant. Very, very nice. Eggplant. Now, oh yeah. This is, the, this yarn is called Pacific. This is one of my favorite yarns of theirs. And this is really nice because the Pacific is, it's considered a four weight, but it kind of works up like a light four weight it is 213 yards, machine wash, tumble dry, 
and it is acrylic. I think it's 60% yeah, acrylic, 40% superwash merino. And this is a very, very reasonably priced product. This is great if you're making blankets, but it's also wonderful for sweaters, wearables, things like that. I really like this yarn, and I love all the different colors that it comes in. Uh, this particular one, I want to say this is Kelly Green. This, oh, look at this beautiful purple. This one is going to be color number... 163 so this is a spring crocus look at that beautiful purple and it is beautiful 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 this one i'm guessing is a navy number 60. i should have this one is denim heather yep now that i looked at it it totally looks like a denim looks like a denim type um this one is number 40. This is Peacock, your basic Peacock Blue. So beautiful. Wow, that is really a pretty color. I like that. I like that a lot. That one is really nice. Here is, this is called Gold. And this one, this is a basic silvery gray. Yep, silver. And we have, mm -hmm, 70s all have color numbers. This is navy, basic navy blue. I'm gonna guess this is black. Gotta have a nice black. Oh, well, that's gonna work. Oh, I know what this one is. This one is blue iris. This is so pretty. This one almost shines. It is so beautiful. I've got a sweater pattern. I've got a sweater that I wanna make this one out of. That's the other thing I should mention. When you're looking on the website and there are, you're looking at these different beautiful yarns, they have patterns, they have free patterns to go along with every one of these yarns. Color number three. Oh, da, 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 da. Hmm. Well, oh, 30, not three. Oh, there it goes. I knew that was gonna happen. This is called Latte. Isn't that pretty? Latte. Yes, and this is a white. Without even looking, I can tell it's either a white or a cream. Yep, this is white. Oh, wow. Oh, this is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Number 23. That is called Dusty Turquoise. Wow, that's pretty. Dusty Turquoise. And that could be it. Yep, I think that's it for the Pacific. I think that's it for the Pacific. Now again, when you go on the website, you can look at all the different colors, and if there's something in there that you want that we don't have, because obviously we cannot get, we can't bring in every color. As a for instance, as a for instance, this is the color card for the Pacific, and we've got quite a few. We've got four, eight, I think we ended up with 10 or 11 of the colors, but this is their color. This is all the different colors that that comes in. So there is no way that we could have brought in all of those. And this is just one of the yarns. This is just one of them. So you go onto their website and you find a yarn that you want, you let me know and we can order that in for you. Okay. So that's the Pacific. Let's move this over here. Again, one of my very favorites to work with. It's a sturdy yarn, machine washable, anti-pilling. I don't think I said that. This is an anti-pilling yarn. So 
So this is a good quality product that you're going to be able to use for a lot of different things. All right. Now, I want to say, I bet most of the rest is the DK, the Anthem DK. So let me remind you, the Anthem DK, the Anthem DK is 100% acrylic. It is a, a, it's a, it's a three weight. It is machine wash, tumble dry, and it has 248 yards, 248 yards. If you guys are doing my, if you guys are doing my crochet along, if you guys are doing my shawl crochet along, and you're doing, the one that I'm doing is, I'm making mine out of this exact yarn, not this color, but this yarn, and I'm going to use for sure three, possibly four. I'm, I'm planning on four skeins of this, this DK. So, I'm sure that I'm going to, let's see if I'm gonna be able to, that's not the anthem. Okay, here's some of the amp. All right, let's see if I can get these colors right. Number 38, okay. This is lemon yellow. Lemon yellow. This is, oh, isn't that pretty? This one is number 18, color 18. This is Peridot. And this is prettier than I thought it was on on the website. This is almost what I would, it's a little darker than a basic spring green. It's very, very pretty. Okay. I'm gonna get us a pile of colors here. Oh man, oh man, oh man, look at this one. This is color 12. This is lavender. This might be the color I do mine in. I haven't decided yet, but I like that. You know me in the purple. Look how gorgeous those look. Is that not is that not springtime right there? Yeah, that is springtime. Okay, what do we got here? We have color 15 is camel. This is a beautiful color. Camel, a nice neutral. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. And this is this is sand, another nice neutral sand. But you can see that the camel is, is a much more brown than the sand. And I think, I think that's it for this box because I've got multiples of each one. So, no point in dragging those all out. Okay, let's see what we have over here. So that's the Nifty Cotton, the Heritage, the Pacific, Anthem. Yep, that's it. All right, so now all we have left are more colors of the Anthem. Okay. So this is forest. This is a deep, deep, beautiful, deep green. This is forest green, gorgeous green. And these are smushed down a little bit from being packed. This is number 24, which is denim. Now this is different than the other denim. This one is a lighter color. You can tell that's a lighter color. Denim. Ooh, this is pretty. This is called number 89. This is Lavender Fog. Isn't that pretty? Super pretty. Lavender Fog. One, two. Dark Turquoise. That's gorgeous. Dark Turquoise. Nice green here. This is cactus. It's a nice mid green. Lovely. Ooh. 
autumn sunset. Wow, this is going almost a salmon. Almost a salmon. This is called autumn sunset. And here we have 43 is tortoise shell. Tortoise shell, it's a nice rich brown. That's lovely. Tortoise shell. Oh, what do we got? What do we got? Oh my goodness. Ooh, this is nice. That's 49. This is called Living Coral. And that explains that beautiful living coral. Seven. Halogen blue. It's a very pretty light blue. It almost has a tiny, tiny touch, a faint touch of um, sort of a purpley, purpley tint tinge to it. 73. This is blue iris. This is the same color as the Pacific that I said I wanted to make a sweater out of. Blue iris. Mm. We have 69. We have orchid. Oh my, look at that. Orchid. We have 56. We have spiced plum. This is the other color I was thinking of for my shawl. It's, I think it's probably a little bit lighter than it's showing up on the screen. Spiced plum. I like that working a lot too. This is white peach. It's a very, very, very pale peach color. Very pale. Really nice. Forty-nine. Hard to find these on the list. Oh, living color coral. We did that one. That's this one. Did that one already? I think we did these three. This one and maybe this one. 87. Nope, we did this. This is the halogen blue. And the last one, pink pearl. Pink pearl. Look at that. That is so nice. This just felt same color as my shirt. Pink pearl. Look at that. Wow. Whoo wee. All right. Look at this. How lovely is this? Look at all those options. Huh? If, if you are thinking of needing a color, oh my goodness, all of this, look at all of this. We've got this, and these are, you know, these are doubles, because I, most of the time, I got two of every color. Most of the time. And then there's our cottons. So, Whew. That is a nice start. That is a nice start. If you're thinking that you want to use one of these, and I highly recommend it, uh, if you want to use one of these colors for doing the crochet along, for doing the crochet along, I'm going to suggest that you get four skeins. Um, then let me know what color you're interested in, and we can get those out to you. And in fact, let me see if I got a, I don't know if they sent me a color chart for that one or not. Let's take a look. We got Pacific, we got Nifty Cotton, and so I've got some color charts. Nifty Cotton, we've got the Heritage. Nope, they did not send me a, a color chart for the detail. But again, if you go on the website and look at the colors, should be able to in fact I will I know I can I know I can attach the link to the website in the description box 
and I will attach specifically to that DK, the Anthem DK. That's what it is, it's Anthem, A-N-T-H-E-M, A-N-T-H-E-M, Anthem DK. I will attach that specifically. I'll pin it to the top description, but I'll also, if I can, if I can, but I'll attach it if I can. Um, in the description box so you know exactly the one we're looking for for our shawl and then if I don't have the color and I do know that there was five or six of them on back order so I did order more colors in there on back order so um, I can get more colors in for you you'll want to order four balls of those and get let me know and I can get those and let me know as soon as possible so I can get, you know, so I can get them ordered all at one time and get them in, get them in all at one time. I'm very excited about this. I hope you guys are excited as well. Let me know as you guys peruse through the website, the Cascade website, please let me know what other types of yarns you would like to see in, what other kinds of colors. Again, you can't, we can't get in everything. They've got, I think they've got over 90 different yarns in, but we can order in anything. We can order in anything that people want. I'm hoping the website will be up and running within a few weeks. And so it'll make that much easier when you want to order something. But past that, you can always email me. You know how to get a hold of me through the email. And I, you know, that's always in every description. And We'll have things up and up and going pretty pretty quick. Super exciting for us. Super, super a lot of work. We're gonna have so many wonderful things. And every week it's gonna be my hands are filthy now. Every week it's gonna be something new and different, and I'll be showing them all off to you. And I'm gonna be showing you the different yarns. I'm gonna be showing you how they work up. Um, We'll be doing whips per inch, so you'll have an idea. Yes, it says it's a four, but it works up more like a three. You know, that kind of stuff. So you'll know what you're dealing with. And I will, I'll see if I can find different patterns uh, that work up with things. I've been looking on Ravelry for different things that people have made out of the different kinds of yarns. I've got different projects myself that I have bought the yarn for and I've got patterns for. Uh, that they're in my they're in my stash ready to go things that I've already started working on so this is a product I have been using for a long long time which is one of the reasons that I chose this as a yarn for us to carry there's a couple reasons one of them is because I know the quality and um, it's it's a product I like the, another reason is it's I don't want to say local but it's in my state so I can get um, when I order it I can usually get it here within the week if I order it on Monday I've got it here no later than Thursday you know barring a snowstorm or if the passes are closed because that does happen in the winter time they'll close you know the passes will be open in the morning and then they'll shut down at noon and that does happen but you know barring something like that we can usually get stuff here in two or three days um, that's the other reason and it's very affordable there's good quality affair affordable and you know I, I know the product it's a family-owned company they have been a family-owned company as far as I know since its inception so all good reasons for me to choose this particular company so anyway that's it that's the big reveal we are starting our very own local yarn store I appreciate your guys' support. I appreciate your good uh, your goodwill, and I hope you are as excited about this as I am. I want your feedback. Please tell us what kinds of things would you like to see in here? What kind of notions would you like to see in here? One of the notions companies that we're gonna be uh, buying things from is called Twice Sheared Sheep. So we're gonna be carrying their items. Um, we've got a lady, a local lady who makes custom bags. We've got a lady who makes custom yarn bowls. So like if you've got a local football team or something like that, um, all kinds of stuff, just all kinds of stuff coming down the line. <coughs> Sorry. That's it. That's it for today. 
I want your ideas, I want your feedback, and I hope you're as excited as we are. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Please like, please subscribe, and oh, by the way, once we get set up, I'm going to need email addresses so I can send you guys the updates of the new, um, the new products as they come in. So that's going to be a good thing, too. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.